we are going to discuss the Panther trial, which is how do you manage infected necrotic material after necrotizing pancreatitis. Should you do it open necrosectomy, which was defined in the trial as making a midline or a subcostal laparotomy and doing an open uh, necrosectomy? Or should you do a step-up approach? According to the trial, a step-up approach was that if you have an uh, infective necrotic uh, material, either you call interventional radiology and they place a drain, or you call GI and they're going to do endoscopically placed transgastric uh, drains. Now then they waited for 72 hours to see if there was an improvement. If there was no improvement, they would ask them to place additional drains or reposition the drain based on their clinical judgment. And then they would wait another 72 hours and if did not improve, then they would ask the surgical colleagues to do a minimally invasive retroperitoneal um, necrosectomy and drain placement. This was done minimally invasive versus the other group where they did open necrosectomy and there was the f a no step up approach. Their outcome was mortality and major complications. In terms of major complications of death, the rate was 40% in the step up approach compared to 70%. So a huge difference in major complications or death as a composite outcome measure. In terms of death alone, it was 19% in the step up approach and 16% uh, in the open necrosectomy group and it was not statistically significant. What was statistically significant was the incidence of new onset diabetes, uh, which was 16% in uh, step up approach and 38% in the open necrosectomy group. It is also worth noticing that the study said that only 35% of the patients in the uh, step up approach required only drainage procedures. Other progressed on to requiring other procedures and drainage, but they did not cross them over to the open group. So in brief, the study showed that a step-up approach was associated with better outcomes, less complications, less incidence of an incisional hernia, and less incidence of uh, post-operative diabetes if you obtain a step-up approach. Remember the step-up approach when you're dealing with abstract questions and all boards and how you manage these patients. Criticism of the trial was it may not be adequately powered to identify a difference in death outcomes and they did not do a direct comparison if it was a transgastric endoscopic approach or was it a radiologically guided drain procedure that was any better than the open group. Thank you.